Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. If we talk about Brahmos missile test firing this year, India has successfully test fired totally four Brahmos missile. One of them was from coastal version of Brahmos test fired by Andaman and Nicobar Command, a tri-services theater command of Indian Armed Forces. The remaining three are from Indian Navy's warship. The two of them was from INS Vishakhapatnam newly commissioned destroyer and one from Kolkata class destroyer. These three Brahmos missile are long range versions of Brahmos known as Brahmos ER with a range between 600 to 800 kilometers. The Kolkata class destroyer has test fired Brahmos missile on 5th of March. The Navy has informed this via their official Twitter handle stating long-range precision strike capability of advanced version of Brahmos missile successfully validated. Pinpoint destruction of target demonstrated combat and mission readiness of frontline platforms. We have already made numerous videos on Brahmos and its capabilities. The recent conflict between Russia and Ukraine has shown how critical the cruise missiles are going to be in neutralizing the various military assets of the adversary with pinpoint accuracy. The supersonic cruise missile like Brahmos with its extended range will make sure that no target is far away and safe. The pace with which Indian Navy is integrating these missiles with its destroyers is a clear message to our adversaries to not even think of any misadventures. Talking about the Kolkata class destroyers, they are built under Project 15A. With a massive displacement of 74,000 ton, it's another beast of Indian Navy. The destroyer has a range of 11,000 km and maximum speed of 56 km per hour. The destroyer is fitted with Israel's famous and proven ELM-2248 MF Star S-Band AESA Multifunctional Radar, Thales LW-08D Band Air Search Radar and Grapoon BAL Radar. It is integrated with BL Hamsa NG Bo Sonar and uses BL EM CCA MK4 for combat management system. Hamsa NG is used for sub surface surveillance, that is, for submarines. Talking about its electronic warfare system, the destroyer has BL Allura electronic support measures, NSTL's Marich ATDS, and Kavach Chaff Decoy system. The primary offensive weapon of Kolkata class destroyer for land and ship attack is Brahmos. The Brahmos missile are fitted into 16 cell universal vertical launcher module allowing one missile per launch silo and all 60 missiles can be fired in salvo. The destroyer has Otto Millera 76mm naval gun located forward of the bridge which provides limited anti-shipping capability and anti-air capability in addition to its naval gun fire support role for land-based operations. For anti-air capability, it has four 8-cell vertical launch system which can carry a total of 32 Barak-8 missiles. It is equipped with four AK-630 as close-in weapon system. For anti-submarine warfare, the Kolkata class are equipped with a torpedo launch system via four torpedo tubes and two RBU-6000 anti-submarine rocket launchers. It can host two Sea King or HL Dhruv helicopters. Three destroyers of Kolkata class are constructed by Majgaon Dock Limited, namely INS Kolkata, INS Kochi and INS Chennai. All of them are in service with Indian Navy. The integration of Pramhos ER with Kolkata class destroyers after INS Vishakhapatnam is a message to Pakistan's Navy because these three destroyers are homed in Mumbai close to Pakistan's water. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.